Okay, this is one of the buildings. And etc. It's for example one building here. Uh, I have something here, for example. I don't know. I'm not sure for now. When you are creating your game design, you can do that. And uh, we have something important. I'm not knowing what's that, but uh, let's say that we have some things here. Okay, for example, here, 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 I'm not sure, maybe here, here, here. And you can choose as many as you want. Now, if you hide your main layer, you have all these dots and paintings, and you can choose that to normal, back to normal. And uh, you can create another layer, put it below the uh, master layer and just using any kind of texture for example as they used here and you can see my map is a little off I'm not sure what these dots are in the game uh, maybe some kind of graphic design but my map is different okay so maybe a solid color can do the job Maybe color like this and just uh, oh, run layer. Okay. something like that. Okay, and uh, for the better uh, thing, I can choose some effects like uh, Gaussian blur. And ooh, I want more blur, blur, blur. Okay. Not that much blurry, of course. Yeah. And uh, some filter effects, I'm not sure. It's up to you. Uh, let's see. Color pencil. Oh, it's become all blue. I don't want that. Hmm. color no it's nice okay another filter maybe for example some noise that noise and that's it let's call it that this is our map okay guys we have our texture and we'll just save this texture and uh, I'm sorry add it here when we are playing the game then uh, when we are creating this map this uh, texture uh, sorry this uh, plane we'll just uh, resize it in X and Y to our playable arrow okay just like that uh, and it will work okay for us uh, of course I'm not sure yeah they, they used offset here and tiling okay uh, for resizing it but I can say okay I can use tiling of 1 1 offset to 0 0 and now I just need to resize it Place it to the proper place. I'm not sure. For example, like this. Okay. And where is my manners? Uh -huh. Okay, it's just in place, I think. something it's exactly on the on top of each other okay so uh, you can play with tiling we can play with offset and just uh, move it in place after we've done all of these if you look it's on top of the game level 
you just need to move it below the game level but how much below it's uh, oh I can't see it okay yeah here it is okay just uh, below the camera occluder like this so you don't think uh, going below than blurred than that because your camera is uh, orthographic and it has no perspective so that's the map and uh, uh, the rudder occluder to be honest uh, I'm not sure what the job of this thing is, but how they had placed it, I'm sure as hell I, I know this one. Uh, let's select our soldier locomotion and frame on it, zoom in back, and now find rather a okay. sure why it's offset it but I'm sure as hell when I play the game it should come on top of it let's see if I'm correct the playing may be a little slow because I'm recording because I moved it on top of everything but I want to show that where is it now hmm. sorry. yeah you see it's just on I know where it is and our soldier locomotion system okay yeah. this is a soldier okay here's our soldier if I can zoom on it correctly and here's our radar occluder right on top of that if you can see that here is the main place and all the way around this hole here is the place we will see on the map here okay so if I move my soldier um, farther it will move farther and the reason that we had this uh, box here in the game was because uh, I think we moved uh, the occluder too much high right on top of the radar camera here is the radar camera's top place and here is our occluder so just when we move the occluder below our camera it will pop up and everything works properly uh, uh, 
so that's all uh, for the occluder. Uh, the radar camera has no texture and radar point uh, as I mentioned is the main texture for the uh, this uh, nice uh, radar effect and of course it's below the map but if we take a look at that bring it all the way on top to help ourselves it's just a simple plane with no holes with nothing just a texture okay so how we can make some effects uh, like uh, this one for example uh, not exactly the same I'll choose uh, a new uh, file I'll put it something like 512 by 512 and I'll make it transparent I'll create a new layer and a new layer I'll use the oh, let me remove this in view okay I'll use a uh, brush sorry shapes and I'll use uh, here uh, custom shapes options okay and in custom shapes you can download all kind of shapes from uh, uh, in turn, just search for custom shapes for Photoshop. They are all there are very very uh, nice free shapes there out there. So I'll choose this one. Uh, the color is something like let's say okay, uh, let's stick the, the green for now. Okay another layer and in this new layer I'll choose something different for example this one with a dot in center and I'll choose this one mm, let's say no why not dark blue and we have that in the center uh, again we can create another layer and uh, in this layer we can use another shape we choose all the shapes we can I really like this shape but let's make it red all the way up to red and, uh, For example, this shape. Okay. So now we can play with the opacity. We can play with everything. Uh, for example, this is opacity 40. We can move it all the way to, I don't know, well, for example, 100. Okay. Uh, no, not 100. Let's say, why not 80? Okay. I want this one to be centered nicely so I put it on 100 and the same for this one it will be 100 now I can see the exact center and uh, I just with V key and with arrow keys I'll move it uh, one or two pixels it will help me to center it uh, okay this one need to move yeah that's it and now um, 